Good morning, fifth grade. This is Miss J. Today is Thursday, May 21st. And in order to be prepared for math review today, you should have already completed all of the problems from today's math review packet. Once you've done that, you have a pencil, your scrap paper, your work, and also your math packet and your YouTube video out in front of you. Our first problem today asks us to select all values that are greater than 123 and 17 hundredths. Show your work for each answer choice. Answer A is written in written form. We must change our, an our answer choice from written form to standard form. So we have 123 and 19 hundredths. And it should be written such as the, the highlighted number right next to it. B, we have expanded form, and we converted it into standard form. Once you've done that step for answer choice A through J, your next strategy should be to stack each number on top of one another so that you can compare the place values in each number, and then you'll be able to tell which values are greater than 123 and 17 hundredths. If you stacked your numbers correctly, you would have gotten the correct answer choices of A, D, G, I, and J. All those numbers are greater than 123 and 17 hundredths. Number two, we have 1,620 divided by 36. Remember, when we have division, we can always use repeated subtraction to solve. If you got your work correct, your answer should be 45. So if your answer is incorrect, go back and revise your work and make sure that you're checking for any mistakes. Our next problem, we have some fractions that we're going to add and subtract. Number one, we have one fourth plus three eighths. We know that we can't add units, unlike units, so we must create equivalent fractions. We know that four and eight are common factors. So we can multiply one fourth by two halves and get two eighths. Now we're ready to add our fraction. Two eighths plus three eighths. And our answer is five eighths. We're going to use the same process to subtract our fraction. There are many different ways that we can solve by using a number line, by using a number line or counting up. Here we're going to find, here we're going to use the same strategy that we used in our first problem. Again, we know that we can't subtract fractions that don't have like units. 
So again, we know that 2 is a factor of 8. So if we multiply by 4, we can get a common denominator. 1 half times 4 fourths equals 4 eighths. Now we're ready to subtract. 5 eighths minus 4 eighths equals 1 eighth. Again, just a reminder to make sure that you're checking your work. Go ahead and use a similar strategy to solve the next two problems. Your answer for 7 eighths plus 1 third equals 5 twenty-fourths, and 5 eighths minus 1 half equals 2 ninths. Your secret code for math review today is CANDLE, C-A-N-D-L-E. Again, the secret code for math review today is CANDLE, C-A-N-D-L-E. Last but not least, we have our last problem here. You have 40 and 25 hundredths multiplied by 10 to the power of 4. Now we all know how to multiply by powers of 10. So the best thing to do is to rewrite this problem. So we now have 40 and 25 hundredths multiplied by 10,000. And we know that if we move the decimal point or place values to the right because we're multiplying, we're going to get our answer. And the correct answer is 402,500. That's all we have for math re review for today. Make sure you're reaching out to your teachers if you have any questions or are confused about any of the problems that we talked about today. Have a great day, fifth grade.